what we're gonna talk about today is something quite, quite special. Demonic marriages, spiritual spouses. We're talking about spiritual husbands and spiritual wives and how they can destroy people's life and what to do to break free. What to do to break free. Some of us need a spiritual divorce where you need to divorce those spirits that have been attacking you, that have been married to you. I'm not talking about physical divorce. We don't, we don't believe in divorce physically, but spiritually, when a spiritual husband or a spiritual wife has attached himself or herself to you, many times those things need to be broken. And we're going to go through a little bit about the background and, and uh, how they operate so that you can distinguish in your own life. Is this what I'm facing? or not because the most common question that i receive as a deliverance minister is do i need deliverance that's the most common question that people ask and my answer is always the same you're asking the wrong person i'm just a human like you you should ask jesus if you need deliverance but what we can do is that we can pray together it's like you meet someone on the streets and you ask them uh, you know, oh, hi, how are you? Or you meet someone in the line at Costco or in the grocery store and you ask them, oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a doctor. Oh, you're a doctor. Uh, I have this lump in the side of my back. What is that? Do I need, do I need a surgery for it? The doctor is going to be like, hey, I don't know. You need to go and get tested. You know, I, I don't know the answer to every sickness. I'm a doctor. I know how to get the answer to go and get tested. And that's what we're here for today, to get tested. What is to be tested spiritually? It's to receive prayer by an anointed man or woman of God. When you receive prayer in the name of Jesus Christ and on the, the authority of the blood of Jesus, you're being tested. You're going through an x-ray machine. And if there's anything foreign in your body that does not belong in your body, something that is not from your body, but it's, it's a, from the outside that have come into your body, if it's there, it's going to be exposed and it's going to be broken off. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. So we're going to try to answer these questions. Do I have a spiritual husband? Do I have a spiritual wife? Do I need deliverance? Hopefully today's short word is going to give you an encouragement so that you can have an answer to that question. Because once you have the answer to that question, you would know the next step you would know the next step. Hallelujah. Praise God. So we're going to talk about spiritual, demonic, demonic marriages, uh, spiritual spouses, and so on. And I want to go back to the beginning. From the very beginning in the book of Genesis chapter 6, verse 4, the Bible talks about the Nephilim, and I'm going to read it here for you. Genesis 6, verse 4. This is the very first instance of a carnal relationship or a sexual relationship between the children of humans, the daughters of humans, and spirit beings. 6 verse 4 in Genesis says, The Nephilim were on the earth in those days and also afterward, when the sons of God went to the daughters of humans and had children by them. They were the heroes of old, men of renown. So back then, because the line between the spiritual and the physical was not yet clearly drawn, this, the the, the uh, hosts of heaven, spiritual beings could come to earth and have sex with, with the, the daughters of man. And they would actually bear children, hybrid children, giants of that time. Nowadays, it still happens. But the fruit is not going to be a hybrid child because the line between the spiritual and physical has been clearly drawn. So because of that, uh, you might have fruits that affect your physical life, but it's going to be primarily in the spiritual realm that these things happen. So that's the background. It happened right from Genesis 6. It happened. It's nothing new. And I want to just read about uh, really quickly a verse from the New Testament that talks about marriage, that talks about uh, uh the order in which God had created it. It says in Hebrews 13, verse 4, marriage is honorable among all, and the marriage bed should remain undefiled. But fornicators and adulterers 
God will judge. The marriage bed should remain undefiled. What does it mean when something is defiled? It, mean, it means that it's made dirty. It's, it's no longer pure. It's no longer clean. It's no longer holy. It's no longer innocent or transparent. That is the meaning of defiled, for something to be defiled. I want to tell you that demons only have one job, and that is to defile us. Demons' job is to defile us, to defile the marriage bed, to defile your mind, to defile your heart, to defile your dreams, to defile your hope, to defile your plans, to defile your habits, everything about you they want to defile. And I want to explain quickly how it works with, with uh, 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 spiritual uh, relationship between when you have a spiritual wife or a spiritual husband as opposed to physical one. There are three main types of relationship in the world. I'm talking on a biological level. I'm not talking about on, a, on an emotional level. This is the same in the animal kingdom. This is how God created it. Three types of relationship between organism, living organisms. The number one is called a symbiotic relationship. A symbiotic relationship. A symbiotic relationship is when two living organisms somehow conjoin and they both mutually benefit from, the, from joining together. It's symbiotic. It's also called mutualism. This is the, how a marriage works. A marriage works this way. A husband benefits from having a wife. And a wife benefits from having a husband. It's mutual. It's not a one-way road. It's not a one-way relationship. It's a two-way relationship. Two people join in holy matrimony in a symbiotic relationship where they both benefit from the relationship. The second type of, of a relationship between living organisms is called commensalism. Commensalism is when one species benefits from the other while the other is unaffected. One species benefits from the other while the other is unaffected. This is the case of our relationship with God. God doesn't benefit from having a relationship with you. God doesn't need you to or me. God doesn't need us to have a good life. God already is the beginning, the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, the everything. He, there is nothing beyond him, beside him, above him or below him. He doesn't need us to be God. He is God with us and he is God without us. But we benefit from having a relationship with God. This is called a commensalism, commensalist relationship. That's the second type of relationship. That's our relationship between us and God. The third type of a relationship, it's called a parasitic relationship. Parasites, parasitic relationship. It's where one species benefits and the other suffers. One benefits and the other suffers. The relationship that demons have with human beings is of the parasitic type. You don't benefit anything from having any kind of relationship with demons. Demons suck your life out. They suck your hope. They suck your passions. They remove and destroy everything in your life. They benefit from it because that's what they feed on. But you, on the other hand, suffer. You benefit nothing from it. <coughs> demonic relationships, demonic marriages, demonic uh, dreams of spiritual husbands and spiritual wives are always, always parasitic. Some of you 
have been having dreams of a man coming to have to sleep with you in your dreams. Some of you are, are guys and you see women sleeping with you in your dreams. And, and the primal instincts, because I once received deliverance, okay? I'm not talking from books that I've read only. This is something that I myself lived, okay? You're talking to someone who once were sitting exactly where you are sitting today. And I received my freedom and God called me and said, you are delivered to deliver others. You, I'm not setting you free just for yourself. I'm setting you free for others so that you can be used as a channel of freedom where there is bondage, okay? So when I'm sharing stuff with you, it's experience, okay? I know I, I've been right where you are. I'm not just saying it because I heard someone else's story. This is my story too. Jesus transformed my life. He can transform yours. It took just less than five minutes for God to completely turn my situation around. Less than five minutes. And so many of our pastoral team, there, our entire leadership team, everyone, we are not just talking the talk. We're walking the walk. We have been there where you are. And I want to let you know that some of you, you're experiencing these dreams. And the moment you wake up, your primal instincts are telling you that this is some kind of a mutual thing. Demonic relationships are never mutual. They are never symbiotic. They are always parasitic. And the purpose of demons, as I've said, is to defile. They are defilers and they are parasitic. And, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a, of a, uh, so that you can use, I'm going to give you some information on how they operate right now so that you can know if this is something that you're struggling with. It's easy to say, oh, I don't have a spiritual husband. I mean, I, I mean no, a spiritual husband, no. And it's just as easy to say, yep, I have a spiritual husband. I, I need deliverance. But it's very important for you to realize and know for sure and not just say it. Okay, we are here to, to distinguish and determine and expose the darkness so that it can be thrown out. Spiritual husbands, also called incubus, spiritual wives, also called succubus. These demons are the most common demons. They are the most common demons. If you are struggling with something that affects your marriage or your sexuality or your private sexual life, it's very common. Let that be an encouragement that you are not struggling with someone that someone else hasn't already received their freedom from. This is one of the most common demons there are. And they have four purposes, four purposes. And I'm gonna give it to you right now. The four purposes that spiritual husbands and spiritual wives are as follows. Number one, they want to cause sexual immorality. That's number one. Number two, they want to cause sexual lethargy. Sexual lethargy. Number three, they want to cause sexual confusion sexual confusion. And number four, they want to cause marital misery. Marital misery. These are the four reasons for spiritual husbands and spiritual wives. And those are the four things that they want to accomplish in your life. Sexual immorality or sexual lethargy or sexual confusion or marital misery. And I'm going to explain all of these four words all of these four ways in which they operate so that we can expose it and go to the root cause of these things. I have seen so many spiritual husbands and spiritual wives being cast out on people. And so many times it's not at all on what you think. Many times it's not what you think. I've had many people that come into church, a husband and a wife, and the husband says, my wife, is having a spiritual husband or spiritual wife. I don't even know. 
she sees a woman beating her in her dreams. My wife is having a spiritual attacks. She is fighting this woman in her dreams all the time. A woman is beating her up. And she even has physical scratch marks in her body when she wakes up. The man was bringing her wife for deliverance. And we're like, okay, maybe she's having some kind of spiritual attacks here. We started praying for her and she was receiving her freedom. She's like, amen, amen. I want to be free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And we're like, okay. You know, that was the x-ray machine. There wasn't any particular demon that was manifesting there. So we said, brother, do you want some prayer too? He's like, yeah, of course. Yeah. The moment we just laid hands on the brother, the husband, who accused his wife of having spiritual attacks, instantly, <laughs> I'm the spiritual wife. I've been attacking the wife in her dreams, and I've been trying to destroy this marriage. I've been causing this man to have hatred towards his wife, and so on and so forth. So sometimes spiritual husbands and spiritual wives, they don't just operate the way you think instantly, like, oh, my wife doesn't have feelings for me anymore. It's a spiritual husband. That you don't know for sure because demons attack the family unit. Don't focus on, oh, my wife has a spiritual husband. I'm okay, but she has a spiritual husband. Or if you are the wife and you say, well, my husband has a spiritual wife. I'm okay, but he has a spiritual. Don't point fingers. The Bible says, that when two people join in holy matrimony, they are no longer two. Before God, they are one person. Before, one, before God, they are one flesh. Everything that happens to the one happens to the other. Everything that happens to your husband affects you as a wife too. So don't point fingers and say, well, my husband is always on his phone. He doesn't want to have uh, sexual intimacy with me, uh, you know, he seems to be very uh, off in his mind. Uh, he, something is going on. Either he's seen someone or he has a spiritual wife or something. There's something wrong here. You don't know exactly in the spiritual what is happening. So don't be so quick to point fingers. Instead, say we together need to go for prayer. We together need to go for prayer. Okay, so those are the four reasons for uh, uh, four reasons for uh, spiritual husbands and wives to attack marriages or even single people. They don't only attack married people; they attack both singles, married people. They attack everyone. They don't care of what you are. All they want to do is to destroy your life. Let me give you some statistics. I said that spiritual husbands and wives are very common demons. Let me tell you exactly how normal it is. 83% of men experience nocturnal emissions at some point during their life. I'm not saying that nocturnal emissions immediately is a sign that you have a spiritual wife. It can become an open door for it, though. So many things that people say, well, I did this. I fell into porn one time. Uh, I, I repented from it, and I fell into it one more time. Do I have a demon now? Do I need deliverance? Well, I don't know. It's like jumping into the sea and saying, is a shark going to bite me? Well, they might bite you. They might not. I can't tell you, do you need deliverance because you fell one time or because you had a nocturnal emission one time or because you had a wet dream one time? It's open doors. It's attacks of the enemy. It's things that aren't natural as it should be. But does it mean that a demon has immediately entered your life? It could be. That's why you need to go and get tested in a place like here today where you can receive prayers, where you can receive prayers. So signs of spiritual husband and wives is when you're having nocturnal emission or when you're experiencing uh, sexual dreams, sexual dreams. Uh, and I'm going to go into that now. They, they many times visit in your dreams. For women, many times it's, it's a big person a shadowy person, a threatening person, someone that you're, you, you feel scared and at the same time attracted to. Sometimes you know who, you know the face of the person. Sometimes you don't see the face of the person. Sometimes it's uh, in your dreams, it's, it, it, it's, uh, uh, it's forced, it's violent, it's both one thing or the other. 
And as men, many times it's a very promiscuous woman that comes and 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 uh, tries to 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 tempt you or seduce you in your dreams. These are all the some of the most typical signs of spiritual husband and wife. If you have those experiences, if you had it once, once again, I can't say that if you had it once, definitely you need deliverance. But if you have it repeatedly over and over and over again, you, you can begin to worry and say, I, I probably need to go for some prayer. Let me go and receive prayer. Even if you received it once, go and receive prayer. Go and receive prayer. Even if you haven't received it, even, even if you've never seen it, go and receive prayer. I, I take every opportunity and I'm a pastor. Every opportunity I get to receive prayer. I'm not saying that I will ask every stranger I know to pray for me. But someone that I respect, someone that I know, I can see by their fruits that they belong to Jesus. I want prayer because who knows? Let me receive prayer. It's the best blessing I can ever receive. If you are too big to receive prayer, you are too big for God. So don't be too big to receive prayer. Okay. Uh, and so we're going to go back to the four ways now, and I'm going to explain those things the way they operate i'm not going to talk for much longer guys uh, i don't like to give focus or attention to the demons i like to give focus and attention to jesus but sometimes occasionally it's important for us to expose the works of the enemy so that we know what's going on in the shadows okay so you know what is going on in the shadows hallelujah so that's what we're doing today. We're exposing the works in the shadows, the works in the darkness. And we are believing that Jesus Christ is, is going to set you free if you need the deliverance today. Many people used to ask me, oh, well, what's the origin? What's this of the demon? And can you go more into how they, what was the step that the demons took and all that? And I always tell them the same thing. Hey, brother, listen to me. I'm not a worm researcher, okay? I don't spend much time on researching what is, belongs under my feet. I know that worms belong under my feet. They are not on any kind of level the same as me. So why would I need to know all the details about worms? I equal demons to worms right now. I'm not a worm researcher. All I know is how to trample on worms. Hallelujah. And that's very important. To, to not uh, get carried away with focusing too much on, on, on these things. So as I'm sharing it, I'm not saying that you need to, you know, go and, and think about deeply, 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 have I ever had any kind of a wet dream in my life? Let me think, oh, one time, maybe when I was, let me see, I need a wet dream. I, I think, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. I think I remember a wet dream once when I was night, like, don't worry, just go for prayer. Don't go, go for prayer. Don't focus on researching worms, okay? There's not much to find there. All you know is they're worms. They belong in the ground, and, and they are disgusting, and they are not equal to humans, and you can trample on them. Hallelujah. The four ways in which they operate. Number one, causing sexual immorality. Causing sexual immorality. After you experience the dreams in particular, your sexual hunger or your sexual desires are heightened and you have a hard time controlling your sexual urges, which results in sexual immorality. It can push you to do uh, anything that is outside of the will of God in terms of, of what, what God has ordained to be a healthy sexual life uh, when you're married. Of course, when you're not married, you're supposed to not have a, a sexual life, okay? That, that comes when you, when you marry, okay? So if, if you're having any kind of sexually active life and you're not married, well, I want to pray that, that God Almighty will help you and, and, and overcome it in Jesus' mighty name. So it causes sexual immorality in your life, heightens your sexual urges, uh, heightens your sexual desires, and, and tries to, to push that towards immorality in your, in your life. It can, this, this way, they operate both in married couples and in singles. Both married couple and singles. Mostly, from experience now, don't, don't say that I said this is from the Bible, okay? But from experience, I have witnessed 
thousands upon thousands of spiritual wives and husbands being cast out from experience. The uh, uh, causing sexual immorality is most common in singles and secondly, most common in married men, okay? It happens with married women too, but most of the time, it seems like the spiritual wife pushes the man into sexual immorality many times. While the next topic that I'm gonna talk about is more common among, among women. I'm not saying that because it's common among men, it can't happen to women too. I'm just giving you reference here so that you can, you can, really, you can think about it like, okay, no, that doesn't, that's not me, you know, that's not me. Well, I'm telling you right now, if you're a man and you're having these kind of dreams, it's probably pushing you into sexual immorality or trying to push you into it. And that's the main thing that, that, that they do many times to try to increase those things in your life and push you towards immorality. Second thing, causing sexual lethargy. Lethargy means when you have no motivation and you have no drive and you basically, they say a lethargic person is a person who you, you, you're supposed to walk one set of stairs to go to the first floor, to the second floor. If you're in Europe, we say the second floor. But in US, it's the first floor because the, the ground floor is the first one. So anyway, you take the stairs, but instead of taking the stairs, you take the elevator. That's a lethargic person. No energy, no motivation, no, no nothing. They're just like ugh, laziness, hopelessness, down. There is no point in doing it. That's being lethargic, if you didn't know. So many times, spiritual husbands and wives causes sexual lethargy. That is when the evil spirit satisfies your sexual desires in your dreams. So that you don't feel any affection towards your husband or any affection towards your wife after those dreams. The best way to know if you are just having a, this is a, a side note that I forgot to say in the beginning before I started mentioning the four different ways. So keep note. The best way to know if what you're having is just an occasional dream that is an attack of the enemy, or if it's an actual spiritual husband and wife, the difference is to know your state during the day after you have had that dream. If you have a dream, maybe it's because you saw something uh, very unscriptural on TV the day before, and, uh, and you had a dream as a response, as a reaction to that, that doesn't mean that a spiritual wife immediately has entered you, as I said, okay? The best way to see it, if those dreams carry impact into your awake life, if it carries an effect into your physical life, then it might be spiritually rooted. If it has an effect, an impact on you. So that's all. That's why I'm saying all these things, it's to cause something in your life. The first one, causing sexual immorality in your awake life as a response to those dreams. Secondly, causing sexual lethargy as a response to those dreams because the evil spirit satisfies you in your dreams. And when you, when you wake up, you feel sexually lethargic towards your husband or towards your wife. Keep in mind, if you're single and you're saying, oh, yeah, that's totally me. I'm totally sexually lethargic. No, 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 no. That's not an excuse. Once again, if you're single, you're not expected to have a sexually active life. Okay. Sexual activity is ordained by God to start as you get married, not before. So sexual lethargy happens only to married couples, only to married couples. And I'm not trying to, I see a lot of people commenting that, yeah, that's me, that's me. And then maybe now you realize you're single and I just called you out. I'm not trying to make anyone feel offended, guys. I'm just teaching so that you can understand and know exactly what area that we need to pinpoint in your life. And, and this causes you to not have any desire or, or, or have a weakened affection towards your spouse, even if they make, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, advances towards you in a healthy way that you are totally not interested, you feel lethargic in the relationship. And that oftentimes causes problems in marriages because naturally a spouse 
who seems to be unwanted and no longer attractive will believe that it has either physical reasons or emotional reasons or psychological reasons. The first thing you think when your partner is no longer showing affection towards you, no longer displaying affection and no longer receptive to your affection, the first thing that comes to your mind is not that it's a spiritual reason. You're gonna think, well, he's no longer feeling attracted to me or maybe he's attracted to someone else. What's going on here? And it causes further problems. And that's the exact purpose of it. Because technically speaking, what's happening is that the person is having an affair. Not physically, not on purpose, but in the spiritual realm. It's what is happening. And it causes sexual lethargy in marriage. And sometimes people don't even understand that this is what is happening. So they blame other circumstantial or physical features. And once again, as I said, this is 99% of the time among married couples. I'm not saying they can never happen to someone who's single, but generally you wouldn't know anyway. Third reason, sexual confusion. So this area and this topic, I'm going to tread carefully so that I don't say things that, that, that uh, makes anyone feel offended. We're not here to offend you, okay? We are here to offend the devil, okay? We are not scared of offending the devil, okay? Because... All he does is, is uh, abuse and offend and kill and steal and destroy. So we are not scared of off offending the devil. But if you as a person, we are not here to say anything hurtful to you. We love you. And we are just bringing scriptural reference, scriptural viewpoints for you to understand so that, okay, maybe that's the issue I'm having. Third topic, sexual confusion. Sometimes in those dreams, you're pushed to do things that you would never do in the natural. You would never do in the natural, but in the dreams, you find yourself doing things that you would never do in the natural. For example, engage in same-sex sexual activity, orgies, or violence during sex. In these cases, the spiritual husband and wife wants you to change your sexual nature and push you into a more aggressive or skewed sexual habits. This can happen both to singles and to married people. So sexual confusion, trying to cause confusion to who you are, your identity as a man or a woman, your identity as a husband or a wife, your, your identity as a child of God, trying to confuse your view and, put, and make you have desires toward more and more uh, uh, weird and crazy things, things that are clearly outside of scripture. Okay, that's the third point. Once again, number one, causing sexual immorality. Number two, causing sexual lethargy. Number three, causing sexual confusion. And number four is probably the biggest one that all the three other ones point towards. And that is causing marital misery. Causing marital misery. This is the biggest area for sure. The main purpose of spiritual husbands and wives is to cause marital misery. When you feel satisfied by another third party, your marriage will not thrive. When you are engaged with thoughts or desires or fantasies or even just the dreams of sexual immorality, it affects, it, a marriage cannot thrive. When it's causing a sexual confusion, where you, you are confused about your, your true desires and, and they are trying to shift something in your mind and in your heart, a marriage cannot thrive. It, it, it's like the marriage is only a shell. It's the structure and a shell of something that once was. Many people can even be disgusted or repulsed by their partner. Anything they do annoys you or anything you do annoys them. Many times a spirit of rejection comes together with a spiritual husband or wife in a marriage. The one person will be affected. Let's say the husband has a spiritual wife and then the wife at the same time gets affected by a spirit of rejection because the man no longer is receptive to her affection and also no longer gives affection the way he used to. That causes a, a, an open door for a spirit of rejection in the other partner's life. And you see the problem. It just opens doors upon doors upon doors upon doors. Spiritual uh, um, 
uh, spirit of rejection, also a spirit of hatred. Let me tell you how a spirit of hatred works. When I say a spirit of hatred, you probably think that means a spirit that makes you hate. That's that, that happens sometimes. 99% of the time, a spirit of hatred causes you to be hated by people. People hate you for no particular reason. They hate how you talk. They hate how you behave. They hate how, what you do. They hate uh, what you stand for. They hate everything about you. It's not that you hate people that is necessarily a spirit of hatred. A spirit of hatred is when people hate you and you can't even know what. And everyone is like, especially your partner is like, oh, the way you do that annoys me. It annoys me so much. Why do you have to do like that? Why do you have to behave like that? Why do you have to say the, those things? And, Anything you do, you seem to always experience hatred. That's a spirit of hatred many times comes as a response or a result of a spiritual husband and wife as well. You see, because when the unit that Hebrews 13 verse 4 says, I'm going to read it for you again. Hebrews 13 verse 4, marriage is honorable among all and the bed, the marriage, marital bed undefiled. This is a decree from God Almighty. And anything that changes or twists or confuses or, or, or breaks or, or severs that unity that was ordained by God Almighty, where he said it's, it's uh, one of the first commandments in the Bible. In fact, the very first commandment in the Bible, I think, I think it's the first, no, it's not the first, but one of the very first commandments. God said, go out, be fruitful, and multiply. That is a decree of marital unity and to produce fruit, which is offspring, children. God gave that as a decree. That this is one of the reasons why I put you on earth. When that instruction, <coughs> excuse me, when that instruction, when that commandment, when that decree by God Almighty is defiled and twisted and broken, it opens the door for everything that is outside of the nat nature of God. So many times what comes starts off as a spiritual husband or a spiritual wife. It comes uh, combined with the spirit of rejection, spirit of hatred, spirit of disunity, strife, and so on and so forth. So it's very important to understand that it, these are, are some of the more, more common spirits and they cause so many other things their purpose is to cause marital misery and obviously if you are a single you may not experience marital misery but it can affect you in the way that you can't get married and that is many times something that runs in the family a generation occurs where once back in a couple of generations back someone got introduced in one way or, or another to a, a spiritual wedding and that wedding was never broken that marriage spiritual marriage was never broken and it's causing spiritual offspring and generation after generation after generation and after generation uh, for example nobody none of the girls in the family ever gets married it's only the boys that can get married that is a typical example of a curse from spiritual husband or none of the boys can stay married more than a year. They always divorce or there's always an early divorce or never any kids. Many spiritual husbands and wives causes you and ties up your womb or ties up whatever it may be that causes you not to be able to have children. I'm not saying it's only the woman. It can be the man too. And they tie it up biologically to stop you from producing children. Many, I'm not saying that every time you can't have a kid, that it's definitely a demon. I'm not saying that. Many times it can be biological reasons. It can be many different reasons. One of the reasons is spiritual husbands and wives. That's one of the things they can do. They can hinder you from producing children or making it extremely hard. They can cause violence in marriage. They can cause, uh, I've mentioned so many things already, but desires to, to do uh, things that are outside of, of the order of God. Um, you can even have kids with a spiritual husband or wife. I've, once again, I'm talking out of experience here. You can have kids with a husband, spiritual husband and wife, spiritual 
family that when you sleep, not only do you see a spiritual man or a spiritual woman coming to approach you and make sexual advances towards you, but you actually see children in the, in the dreams. This can many times cause big problems to your own children if you have children or prevent you from having children. Other things that spiritual husbands and wives can do is that they can, they can even come to you physically. Some of you right now, you, may, you, might, uh, you might experience that, that the spiritual husband has taken such a big part of your life that he even approaches you physically. That you wake up in the middle of the night, or a spiritual wife for that matter, you wake up in the middle of the night and you can feel a physical something. You can't touch the, the demon, but you can feel the physical presence of someone lying on you, being heavy on you, and, and you know, uh, having, uh, um, having uh, a romantic... Uh, 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 activity with you it can happen in the physical sometimes they can beat your chain in the dream too uh, uh, the book of Isaiah I think it's chapter 34 talks about the night beings the night beings that they come and attack you in the dreams and, and attack you in the in your in your in the night so it can even happen physically that you feel it physically uh, and yeah, Genesis 1.28 was the Bible verse. I have it written down here. Genesis 1.28, be fruitful and multiply. It actually is the first decree and the first commandment that God Almighty gave us as people of God. No wonder that that is why the devil wants to attack the marital unit so hard. Cause all these things by sending in a spiritual wife or a husband to attack the unit. So I want to let you know, if that is you today, if you feel that this is, this is speaking to you, that you are experiencing, some of these things are things that you experience as a, a wife, as a husband, as a single man or a woman. If you experience any of these things that we have mentioned right now, in just some minutes from, we're going to listen to a couple of testimonies from what God has been doing. Right after that, you and me together in the name of Jesus are going to come against those spiritual husbands, those spiritual wives, and it's time to divorce that spiritual demon, okay? It's time to break it in your life. I want you to prepare yourself as we, you are listening to these testimonies that we're going to uh, share with you. I want you to be in an attitude of prayer. I want you to right now say this prayer with me. If you're watching on YouTube right now, if you are with me on YouTube right now, if you are with me in the spirit right now, if you are with me in one accord right now, and you believe that today is your day of deliverance, can you put the fire emoji right now? Put the fire emoji right now in the YouTube chat. Let me see that you are with me right now in spirit. Holy Spirit is in charge right now, and Holy Spirit is going to break chains today. He's going to cast out those who have no legal rights. If you believe that today is your day in YouTube, put the fire emoji right now and show us that you are with us, that you are with us and that you are ready for prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Any moment from now, if you are on Zoom as well, do the same thing, the same thing. If you're on Zoom, do the same thing. I want to let you know right now, we're going to listen to testimonies. But before then, say this prayer with me right now. Say this prayer with me right now. Say this prayer right now. Say, in Jesus' mighty name. I, I, no matter where you are right now, unless you are sitting on the bus and there are strangers everywhere around you and you are listening to this service on your earphones, maybe not shout out then. Maybe they will call the police or something. I don't know, okay? I'm not trying to be whatever. But as if you have opportunity... Speak these words out with me right now because the Holy Spirit is here right now and we are about to commit the Holy Spirit into your situation, okay? Get ready right now and say this prayer with me and I just want you to say this prayer and have this prayer in your heart and have it go over and over and over again as we begin to, to prepare to listen to testimonies and then uh, the receive prayer. Say this prayer right now in Jesus' mighty name. 
Say in Jesus mighty name. Today is my day of freedom. You spiritual husband. You spiritual wife. Today. Your relationship with me shall be severed in Jesus' name. Today is my day of freedom. Begin to pray it in your heart right now. Today is my day of freedom. Begin to pray it over and over again. We haven't started the actual prayer yet. Just prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Say that prayer in your heart. Today is my day of freedom. If there's anything in your life right now, that you know is offending the Holy Spirit. Maybe you are living in conscious, repeated, uh, uh, purpose, purposed sexual immorality right now. Maybe you are in uh, having uh, 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 sexual activity where you shouldn't or when you shouldn't. Maybe you're experiencing these things and you know that currently you have a lifestyle or habits or life choices that are contrary to God's word. Right now, take a moment and begin to repent from those things. As we are listening to testimonies, begin to repent from those things and say, God, forgive me. God, forgive me. Whatever is giving that spirit legal right in my heart, Lord, in my life, forgive me. I repent and I renounce it. I repent and I renounce it, Lord. Today is my day of freedom. In Jesus' mighty name. All right, let me see if my brother Ed is ready for the testimonies. Let me see here. Just Hi, stay Pastor Rick, right we now. are fire. Okay. We are ready to go. We are so blessed go by ahead. today's message. And I believe that people are going to receive their deliverance today. Today is the day of freedom, blessing, and breakthrough. I have three written testimonies which were sent in to us by people who watched our live streams and rewatched uh, the live streams who received a touch from our Lord Jesus Christ, who I'm going to share with you. We also have two wonderful people in Zoom ready to testify live about the good things God Almighty has done in their life. So as you listen to them today, let your faith be boosted up. So when it's time for the ministry and time for the prayer, your prayer will catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. First of all, we have Nawazi Patience, who wrote from Zimbabwe, saying, Pastor Mariana gave a word of knowledge directly to me in my situation, even though she was speaking to someone else. She then said, someone has been suffering with perverted thoughts and dreams. I have been experiencing these for the past few months. I have been delivered completely after this word, and I have been liberated as she was praying for the, for the viewers. Glory be to Jesus. Jesus really does care about each one of us. I want to reiterate this statement. Jesus cares about you. He knows specifically who you are, where you are, and what you're going through. And today he has released favor, mercy, and fire that will set you free from anything that is not the will of God for your life. The second testimony comes from Laurie Franco from Texas. She says, I hear demonic voices and my mind was under constant attack from intrusive thoughts. As Pastor Ilya was praying for a Zoom viewer, I received the prayer over myself by faith. I claimed it. As he continued praying for them, I started coughing in my house. I started screaming, rolling on the floor, and eventually vomited. I felt the Holy Spirit's presence, and I know I have been completely set free. Praise Jesus. So this is what's so important for you to know today, that when the anointing of God is present, all you have to do is place a demand on that anointing, and you can receive your portion too. Even if Pastor Ricard or Pastor or Pastor Ilya is going to be facing someone else today, when the time of deliverance or healing or freedom is happening, you two can claim it for yourself. Uh, put a demand on that anointing you see working, and the Holy Spirit, who is everywhere present, will locate you at the point of your need in Jesus' name. The third testimony came uh, was written in from Venezuela, from Sorayo Carmago. They said, my daughter has been struggling with thoughts of lesbianism, depression, fear, and anxiety from a very young age after she was abused. You prayed for my daughter, and she was completely set free by Jesus. She is now full of joy, is no longer afraid of returning to college, and has been set free of over 13 years of suffering. Thank you, Jesus. Just a word can do that to someone's life, can end 13 years of suffering and torment. I believe you're going to receive a word today, which will usher you into the new stage of life Jesus has for you, a stage of peace, a stage of joy, a stage of progress, good health, and good sleep. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. So right now we're going to play a clip of the first testimony and then listen to what God Almighty has done in their life. Be blessed. That God's going to give you an influence in, 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 the, in the area where you're working. God's going to expand your influence and grow your influence. And through those means, God will provide financially for you. Yes, I'm actually fasting 40 days for my coming ministry. Whenever I pray for someone else's salvation, I will lose my job. <laughs> it happens like twice already. When I saw your microphone, I heard of preaching and influence. Yes, I'm already in ministry. Okay. What do you do in the ministry? It's a vision from the Holy Spirit to go online. I heard a word influence. That God's going to give you influence, whether it's online, whether it's physically, but God's going to open the door and God is going to use you for His glory in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Father, I pray for Serene. Every blockage, every stagnation, Everything that's keeping her from fulfilling her calling right now, I remove it out of her life. In Jesus' mighty name, bring her, God, into the fullness of her calling and what you called her to be, for her to do what you called her to do in Jesus' name. Be released in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your anointing come over her right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your purposes in her life be fulfilled in Jesus name. Hello. Hello to God be the glory. There we have heard and seen the wonderful prophecy that God Almighty gave to Celine that day and now here we have her in her midst. Um, coming all the way from Taiwan, I believe, to God be the yes. glory. Never too early Amen. to thank Jesus for what he's done in your life. Amen. So please introduce yourself to the viewers and share with us about what the word of prophecy was you received and what's happened in your life since then. All right. I got it in bullet point because God has been doing so many things. So I make sure I'll keep it short but sharp, not missing anything. I'm a Malaysian from, I'm currently living in Taiwan. And when Pastor Ilya prophesied over me, that word meant so much to me, like way beyond he could imagine. I was also in the first week of 40 days fasting and it was 2 a.m., it was 2 a.m. I was already in bed. I was already sleeping, lights off. I just felt like I should get up, change into my hoodie, put on my specs, and just sit in front of the computer and see what's going on. And I'm a public figure. I was already a public figure before I came to Christ when Pastor Ilya prophesied over me. However, that was my season of pruning. That was my season of hiddenness. That was my season of training. The Lord gave me and instructions not to go public so for almost a year now and he gives me the next instruction so i was already in ministry but i didn't want to do ministry because people are crazy so one day the lord gave me a vision of a million souls and to go online global mm. i went 2.5 days retreat with no wi-fi just to say god after pastor Ilya prophesied over me that was a few days after he prophesied over me. So it was that period of time God did something to my heart, to my mind, to my vision, so that I come, I can come in alignment with the Holy Ghost, with the Holy Spirit. And my ministry and vision was revived afterwards, still privately, without any publication. Let me tell you what God did. Some of the countries that came, some of the people from these countries that came into the our mid weekly meetings, these are the countries from India, Malaysia, Taiwan, America, Philippines, Dubai, Indonesia, Singapore, UK, Nigeria, South Africa, Jamaica. And last week, we have someone from South Korea. <laughs> God, God would give people dreams about me or members who are connected to me just so that they could join the meeting that we have every week. And here are some of the miracles that happened just, just online alone. COVID got healed, breast lump disappeared, chronic praying got healed, financial miracle. But here's my personal takeaway. The most precious miracle to me and to my team members are mental transformation and character development. Uh, I see people with anger issue hardened hearts get their heart transformed 
get their heart softened, get their mind transformed. I see people who they were so insecure when they joined. They got so many demonic oppression and now they are walking into their dominion. I see people with, people with pornographic issues got set free. And it's just, I, I, I couldn't do anything without Jesus. It's all by his grace, by his mercy. And I want to encourage everybody, if you seek God, you will find him. Your part is to seek him. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Serene. Come on, if you're blessed in the chat right now, drop a fire emoji, drop a thank you, Jesus. A word of prophecy that located her and has opened doors, just as the word said it would, to different areas of her life and ministry. This, this is nothing other than a divine blessing. Um, Serene, tell us a little bit more about the word that said God is going to open doors for you because we've, you've established influence that you're already a person of influence, but now God has increased that and made mm -hmm. a way for you even beyond what you expected. Tell us a little bit more about that confirmation. So um, the word I received was on September 2nd, I believe, because I actually cut the clip to receive it for myself. And on October, God actually connected me to, because I was only doing all of this online, um, God connected me in during October to a local church pastor. And that pastor immediately just put me in his leadership position. So I was in the physical and I was all, also doing things online. And just now in the chat, I, someone I didn't know say, hey, Serene, I know you're from YouTube. And <laughs> so just crazy things like this happen. And the craziest part is all of this happened without any self-promotion, without any publication, without any sharing, liking on Instagram, YouTube, all of that is good. But I'm saying that because it was an instruction from the Holy Spirit telling me not to go online, not to go public yet, because it is not my season of going public yet and yet the kind of influence when staying in hiddenness like i cannot take any credit or any glory for that it's just pure jesus move praise the lord all glory to jesus christ and um, you've spoken to our hearts you've spoken to us but give us one more time a word of advice concerning what jesus can do with a word of prophecy with a word of deliverance to, to your life amen i would say the most important thing after you receive a prophetic word, especially if it's not about, you know, the instant thing like healing or deliverance, but more about your destiny and your purpose, the word that you receive is just a starting point. If you do absolutely nothing, that word, you'll be amazed that it will fail. It will fail before your very eyes. So you have to take actions. That's called faith. You have to come in partnership with the word, with the, with the prophetic word that is um, being spoken over your head as a covering. And when you come into agreement with the Holy Spirit, with the Bible, with the word of God, that's when God will work miracle. Amen. Thank you so much for your testimony today, Serene. You really blessed us. You boosted our faith. And I know many people are going to receive their miracle today as a result of this. We pray God Almighty gives you the grace to continue to be in the center of his will and to expand in influence for the kingdom of God in Jesus name. Thank you Viewers, so much. We still much. have one more wonderful testimony to listen to. So right now, watch the, cre the screen as we play the clip. I wanted to pray for you specifically um, in the area of growth. I don't know what's going on, but I just sense there's a frustration uh, that you are really dealing with um, almost to the verge of tears. I want you to know that the Lord is with you. He also wants to grow in you in the area of trust. It's in my spiritual growth, actually. Um, for the last year to present, I've been dealing with some health issues. Prior to these um, health issues, I was not a child of God. I was in the world. Um, I have a calling on my life. I'm just really frustrated because, you know, I'm, I'm like, you know, God, I need rest. Like, I, I want to be healed. Something that's uh, with, with your mom, uh, what's, what's, what's happening? With my mom to say, I guess our relationship has been a little strained. Um, I feel alone. My parents, they, they aren't really on the same level. So it's a little frustrating, you know, being alone, like in a bubble where there's no one to really speak to about it. So I get frustrated there. Okay. I've heard, uh, you know, that there's a friction, frustration with your mom. And I heard obey them or humble yourself with them. Humility is an attitude, attitude of the heart. 
But I pray, Father, for every sickness that she is facing and that she's encountering, Lord, you are her healer. Touch her body, Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you right now that frustration is leaving in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So that was the, the prophecy. And here we have uh, Daniel in the house with us today. You're welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Please introduce yourself to the viewers. Tell us your name and where you're from. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. It's it's half tree in Trinidad. Um, yeah, my name is Daniel. Um, I'm from Trinidad. I, um, you know, when I received that um, prophetic word from Pastor Mariana, that that word came right on time i um that day i had no plans to be on the prophetic service but i felt something in my spirit telling me you know to go on to go online so i went on youtube and i saw the prophetic service going on and that wasn't enough um i guess it's the holy spirit he told me to go on zoom so i'm like i'm not dressed for zoom and it's like go on zoom so i obeyed <laughs> I was doing work, I, I obeyed, I went on to the Zoom service and I was there and I was in the midst of, you know, my, my frustration and I was like, on, I was crying that day, I was, I was really tired because I was in pain and I'm like, God, what's going on? Because I've been battling with health issues for a while and I was just there and Pastor Mariana said that, you know, there were, they weren't going to like prophesy to a lot of people, but, you know, a few people, but we could tap in, so... I'm there and you know, the odds of me being prophesied too is very, very slim. So I told God, I was like, God is like, you know, because if it has been prophesied over my life that I have a calling and I have been like, I've gotten confirmation through dreams. But I told God that day, I was like, God, if this is really your plan for my life and you know, you, you have a plan and a calling, let me be located today on the service. So I had the service on and then I started started to hear my name and I'm like, so fast, Holy Spirit. I was like, I was like, okay, amen. And I um, you know, fast. So you didn't even think you had a chance to be prophesied to or spoken to, and yet you're one of the first ones that day. Isn't that amazing? Chat, I believe amazing. Jesus is gonna locate you, whether you were expecting it or not, whether you were praying for it and thinking, maybe I won out of 200 people here, how can it be me? Today is your day in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. So, so when tell she... us more about this frustration you were experiencing as they had prophesied to you. Yes, yes. So I was frustrated, um, I'm, I'm, I'm telling, you know, I'm crying out to God, I'm praying, I'm fasting. And, and Pastor Mariana, she she spoke to me and she well, she prophesied over my life and she said, you know, that God wants to use a situation so I could trust him more. And I'm like, yes, I was like, I, I haven't, I, I didn't think about that before. And, you know, since then, I've just been, you know, I'm, I'm not complaining because when you, when you receive a prophetic word, you just thank God because it's so, it's so amazing to hear from Jesus, like, you know, himself. And I just keep thanking God for that prophetic word, for trusting in him. I've trusted him a lot since that day. I've gotten closer to God. I know he has my best interests at heart. You know, sometimes when, you know, you're going through situations, you're like, God, where are you? But, you know, in Proverbs tree it says you know trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding and yes that's what i did okay and so um uh, the other word that they spoke about was on needing to have honor or obedience towards your parents what can you say a little about that yes um i was a little frustrated with my parents and i they weren't on the same page as me and i have been you know a frustrated I I wasn't really like, you know, with my mom, we would, you know, argue, we would not um, be on the same page, basically. But ever since that word, I, I, I took it to the Bible, I, I took it to God, I, I, you know, I repented because the Bible says that, you know, you need to honor your parents, no matter, you know, what you're going through, no matter, if, you know, they, they're not on the same page of you or you don't agree, you still have to obey the word of the Lord, which is obey your parents. And, you know, from that day, <laughs> I really... I really repented and my relationship with my parents have gotten a lot better. So I thank Jesus for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now tell us about, um, since that prophecy, how has your mind changed toward the frustration you've been going through? How are you feeling now? 
I, I am so calm and this is only Jesus Christ could give me this peace. If I was in the world away from Jesus, I, my mind would have been crazy. I would have had, I, I am positive. I would have had thoughts about suicide if I was in the world, but it's only Jesus because sometimes I reflect at my situation and my trials and I'm like, Lord, how am I this calm? How am I this peaceful? So I thank Jesus for all the peace he has given me. Amen. In, indeed, when Jesus Christ takes over your problems, he puts peace in your heart. And this is the evidence that God is not only involved, but he knows and he cares. And he is right now busy working out the answer in every area of your life. In Amen. Jesus' name. Then he'll give us a word of advice to people watching you who need to hear something from God today. Whoever is watching and, you know, we all go through our trials and our tests and periods in our lives. What I could say is that Pray to God, pray to ask the Holy Spirit to locate you today so that the pastors will locate you. Because when you pray to Jesus and you ask to be located, God instills in the man of God or the man, um, the, the woman of God's heart to, you know, to locate you and to bring your issues up front. So just trust in God and know that even if you don't receive, you know, that one-on-one -on -one prophet, uh, like, you know, prophesying or, or, or interaction, you, you could always tap in. So, you know, another word or just believe in your heart that, you know, that anointing has set you free today because the anointing breaks every yoke. And amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Thank you so much, Daniil, for your wonderful testimony. We pray God Almighty's peace continues to guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus and take you to a new level in life in Christ in Jesus' name. So yes. now, viewers and those of you on Zoom, it is your turn. It is your time. You have heard what God has done in the past. I believe your faith has been risen up through these testimonies and the word of God. Now it is time for God's servants to speak a word to your life. It is time for you to receive ministry in the name of Jesus Christ and be set free from any curse that has been hanging over your life, from any negative or demonic words spoken against you and your family, and for anything affecting your body, soul, and spirit that is not according to the will of God. Open your heart to God's word, his faith, and his spirit right now as Pastor Rickard and Ilya join us to do ministry and deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. All right, people of God, we are going to start the ministration right now. I believe that the Spirit of God is here right now. Those of you who have identified with the thing that we have mentioned formally, you know, you can feel it. There are many of you right now that your heart is beating so fast. You know that something is about to happen. The spirit of God is about to separate that spiritual husband from your life, that spiritual wife from your life, and you are going to walk out of this meeting a new person, a free child of God, walking in the light of your testimony. Already right now on Zoom, I'm seeing the spirit of God is touching people. Right now, the spirit of God has been released. And he's beginning to move right now to set the captives free. If you are on Zoom right now and you want ministration today, switch your camera on. Switch your camera on. I don't need to see you. Spirit of God already sees you. I mean, the Spirit of God doesn't need your camera to be on. He sees you. But I want to see you as well. If you're on YouTube right now, if you are on YouTube right now, I want you to join me in prayer. I want, and on Zoom, YouTube and Zoom, or I can feel the Spirit of God right now. Spirit of God, I pray that today, those that are never seen, may you locate them, Lord. Those that are never attended to, may you locate them, Lord. May today be the day that those who have never been attended to, may they receive their freedom today, Lord. Those that are never seen or heard, those that nobody sees or hears, Spirit of God, today is their day. Today is their day. I want you, if you're on Zoom or if you are on YouTube right now, I want you to raise your right hand in the air, just like this. Raise your right hand in the air right now. Raise your right hand. And I want you to say this prayer with me. And before, before we, we say the prayer, once again, switch your camera on right now. Spirit of God moving. Spirit of God is moving. We have 172 people on Zoom right now. 
If you are on YouTube and you want to join the Zoom meeting, it is not too late. Click on the link right up. It's, a, it's a pinned in the comments. Click the link. Join right now. Spirit of God is already moving right now. He's already moving. Raise your hand right now. The right hand of God is power. Lord, you said that the right hand of God is power. That never will you allow a word to go out from your throne and return void. Your word says when the Son of God sets us free, we are free indeed. As we are about to lay this hand on ourselves, Lord, I pray that you will sanctify this hand. Anoint this hand as the people of God lay this hand on themselves. May it be you laying your hand on them, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Spirit of God is already touching people. I can see it all over. People are being touched right now by the Spirit of God. And more is coming your way. More is coming your way. When I count to three, when I count to three, I want you to, not now, but when I count to three, I want you to place your hand on your own head. And we will do it all at the same time. Right now, prepare yourself. That spiritual husband, that spiritual wife, that demonic stronghold in your life, it's about to be broken. Enough is enough. Say this with me in the name of Jesus. Enough is enough. You demon, enough is enough. At the count of three, get ready, people of God. One, your hand has been anointed and appointed. As you lay that hand, it's the hand of God that is being placed on you. Distance is not a barrier. Space is not a barrier. Time is not a barrier. Jesus is right there with you in the room right now. And he's telling you, my precious daughter, my precious son, I have seen your tears. I have heard your cry. Today is your day of freedom. Two. Prepare yourself. Spirit of God is about to set you free. Never again will you experience that hardship. When I say three, I want you to place your hand and I want you to shout. If you can, you can physically shout. If you can't physically shout, then just say it in your heart. I want you to shout in Jesus' name as you place your hand. Get ready. At the count of three, get ready. Right now, in the name of Jesus. I command that evil spirit to be broken. Free, place your hand in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, fire right now. On every single person on Zoom, on YouTube, fire right now in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost, fire right now in Jesus' mighty name. From the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Holy Ghost, fire right now in Jesus' mighty name. You spiritual husband, you spiritual wife, we break your grip right now in Jesus' mighty name. From the top of their head to the soles of their feet, Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus' mighty name. Say this, pray with me right now. Say, in Jesus' name, you evil spirit, in Jesus' name, you spiritual husband, in Jesus' name, you spiritual wife, I call you by your name. Enough is enough. In Jesus' mighty name, I cast you out. Out. Out right now in Jesus' mighty name. I want right now you need Maris. Eunice Maris, can you unmute yourself right now? I want to pray for you right now. I see the Spirit of God touching you. Right now, right now, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Fast in Jesus' name. Fast in Jesus' name. Fire in Jesus' mighty name. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire all over the body right now. From the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Fire! Fire! Fire, you spiritual husband! Leave her in the name of Jesus! You spiritual husband, leave her in the name of Jesus! 
right now. Speak out. Who are you in this body? Who are you? Who are you? Speak out. Who are you in this body? You have a name, you demon. Who are you? Who are you? What have you done to her? Fire. More fire. More fire. More fire. Holy Ghost, fire. More fire. More fire. More fire in Jesus' name. More fire in Jesus' name. Look here. Look here. You have a name. Who are you? You are what? You are spiritual what? Speak out. You are who? What have you done to her? What have you done to her? What have you done to her marriage? You cannot hide. You cannot resist the power of God. Uh -huh. How many are you? How many are you in this body? How many are you? Number one, you have a name. How long have you been here? I destroyed life. You destroyed life? Everything. What about the marriage? The marriage? The marriage? What have you done to a marriage? Uh, she, has, she has no unity with her husband. Oh, who is the cause? Who is the cause? Who is the cause? Speak out! You don't get to rest until you speak out. Uh -huh. <coughs> How many are you in this body? Uh -huh. How many? <coughs> How many are you? Speak out. How many are you in this body? Three. Uh -huh. Three. Who is number Three. one? You have a name. Number one. Number one. Wish Take your hand away. Number one. <coughs> Number one, uh, uh, spirit of what? Uh, witchcraft. Uh, number, one, number two, spirit of witchcraft. Number two, last. Uh, last. Number three, who's number three? Right. Yes. Okay, right now, how, how, how did you enter her? How did you enter her, you demons? How did you enter? Uh, uh, family, family. Through the, through, uh, through the family. Okay. Your time in this body has expired. Look here, you demon. Look here. Open your eyes and look here. You cannot resist the power of God. Look here. Fire in your eyes. Fire in your eyes. Look here. Open your eyes and look here. Look here. Right now, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Fire. 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 Fire! Fire in the Jesus name! Out! 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 Come out! 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 out. Right now, move out of her! Come out! 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 Thank you, Lord! In Jesus' mighty name! Thank you, Lord! Sister, look here! Sister, how are you? I could breathe. Jesus Christ has just set you free from demons. You are free in Jesus' name. Can you say thank Amen. you, Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. God thank bless you, sister. You are free in Jesus' name. People of God, people of God, I'm going to mute you again, Eunice. God bless you. Stay in the service. Stay in the presence of God. People of God, this is only the beginning. Jesus wants to touch you today. If demons are going to speak out like that in your life or not, don't worry. It doesn't matter. It's not about if something speaks out or not. It's your freedom that you are here for. Jesus is here for your freedom. Nothing else matters. Get ready right now. Say this prayer with me. People on YouTube. You don't have to be on Zoom to receive deliverance. You can receive deliverance right there on YouTube. If you're in your car, in your living room, in your office, 
In fact, even if you're visiting the toilet right now, you're listening to me on the phone. Jesus Christ doesn't care where you are. He can set you free wherever you are. Get ready right now. Say this prayer right now. Just keep praying while people are receiving freedom. Say this prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Today is my day of freedom. Every demonic bondage, you must be broken in my life. Every demonic stronghold, you must be broken in my life. Right now, continue to be in an attitude of prayer right now. Be in an attitude of prayer right now. Jesus Christ is touching you right now. Jesus Christ is touching you. In order to be able to pray for as many people as possible, I'm going to group you up in a couple of people here. I want to pray for Carol. If I mention your name, please unmute yourself. Carol N. I want to pray for Yodit. I want to pray for a couple of you at the same time. Kathleen Kwan. Kathleen Kwan, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Gilbert Gipit, I want to pray for you. Natalia Kimloas Brereton, I want to pray for you right now. Every single one of you, unmute yourselves right now. Unmute yourselves right now. I'm, I'm unmuting you. Okay, place your hands on your head right now. Jesus Christ wants to set you free. Whatever the problems you're experiencing, Jesus Christ have taken note of you for a reason. Right now, some of you have experienced severe trauma and heartbreak. Jesus Christ wants to wash that away from you right now. Even as we are praying right now, the Holy Spirit is washing things out of your life. Right now, he's washing things out. Right now. Holy Spirit, from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet, I call Holy Ghost fire in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, wash away the pain of the past. Wash it away in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost fire burn away the pain of the past right now. Burn away the pain of the past. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus right now. The Spirit of God is moving. People are receiving touch right now. Fire in Jesus' name. Be broken. Every ancestral curse, every generational curses, everything not from God right now. Be broken over their lives in Jesus' name. It's broken over their lives right now. Jesus, my name. Everything that's not from God right now. Come out of their bodies. Come out of their bodies right now. Come out of their bodies right now. Right now, Spirit of God is touching Kathleen. Holy Ghost, fire over her body right now. From the top of her head to the sorcery feet. Fire! 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 fire. That pain of the past. There's a couple of people that have had very severe pain of the past. It's coming out right now. It's coming out right now. It's being broken over your lives. Jesus mighty name. Jesus mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Years, people feel like years have been wasted, but before God, years are never wasted. They are sowed. Some of them are forcefully sown, but they are sown into a field that he will bring fruit from in Jesus mighty name thank you Lord for breaking pain of the past and ancestral curses right now Jesus is touching all of them right thank now you, Lord. thank you Lord thank you Lord for freedom in their lives in Jesus mighty name you thank need you, to Lord. just let the Lord continue touching you right now Lord is touching you. you right now stay in the presence of God every single one of you stay in the presence of God he's touching you right now Gilbert every single one of you stay in his presence right now Thank you, Lord, for your freedom in their lives. Jesus Christ is breaking chains over Kathleen's life, over Carol's life, things from the past, trauma, the things that have happened, things that you don't deserve, but it happened. Demons have been using it to cause, cause you to, to have bitterness towards men. Bitterness towards men. It's over today. It's over today. Jesus Christ is the chief husband man. Never a man or a husband or a father like Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Lord, for freedom right now. Thank you, Lord, for a touch over Natalia's life, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah, in Jesus' mighty name.
Thank you, Lord. God bless you guys. Stay in the presence. Lord is still touching you right now. Lord is still touching you right now. In Jesus' mighty name. I want to pray right now for uh, Alessandra. Alessandra, I want to pray for you. Right now, place your hand. Place your hand right now. Right now, from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Fire of God right now over her entire life. From the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Fire in Jesus' mighty name. Fire in Jesus' mighty name. Fire right now in Jesus' mighty name. Over Alessandra right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for your freedom in her life, Lord. Freedom in her life, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you're breaking chains in her life. Breaking chains in her life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Alessandra, are you married? Do, no. Are, you, are no. you married? How old are you? 36. 36. Have you been in the past married? No, never. <laughs> no. Okay. I see the Lord saying that there. <clears throat> I don't know if it was uh, an issue with your father. I don't know if it's your father or if, if there was some kind of issue in the past. But there has been something that happened and it has caused some kind of like, I don't know. You just have a hard time. You have a hard time with guys. And it's like, you think, no. is it my fault? Am I weird? Uh, what's what's going on? And 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 uh, like, what, what can you say about that? I can say that um, it's... I never had the chance to. It, it happened just once in my life that I had a relationship, and from the and it's like it's difficult to me to have relationships. Yeah, I, and it's, it's, I, I like and um, <laughs> a real relationship. I mean, like a relationship that lasts forever. This is what I'm searching for. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you're not weird. You're a normal girl. You don't understand what's wrong. Well, I, I see that there has been something that happened. I don't know if it's your father or I'm not saying that it's something very serious, but there's like a weird something that's kind of it has moved from that relationship and it continues and it's just always hard and you can't really be like it, it doesn't work. And some seems that you're worried that they want to take advantage of you some and, and it's I, I just see the Lord is breaking chains right now, real life, curses of real life right now. Place your hand right one more time. I want to pray in Jesus' mighty name. Everything that is causing this marital setback in her life, setback in relationships, disappointment and hardship right now, be broken over her life in Jesus' name. If that's you and you're watching on YouTube right now, if that's you and you're watching on YouTube, join in this prayer. If you feel like you can relate with Alessandra, that you've had difficulties in having relationship, and you've been wondering, am I weird? Am I, have I problems? What's wrong? Why do these guys or these girls never, why doesn't it click? What's happening? Right now, Jesus Christ wants to break that thing over your life in Jesus' mighty name. It's like, it's like, it's like there's something that has clogged, something has clogged a pipe and it's like, it just doesn't flow. It doesn't flow. It's spiritual. It's something has caused a spiritual, a spiritual uh, a stoppage in the flow of, of natural relationship. It's being broken today. If we break it in the name of Jesus, whatever it is spiritual, they have caused this thing to clog up in relationships, be broken in Jesus' name. Send the right person, Lord. Send them, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for breakthrough. Thank in you. Jesus' mighty name. It's been broken today. It's Thank been you. broken today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Spirit of God is still moving. If you are here on Zoom, don't don't focus on what's happening to people. Continue to be an attitude of prayer and let the spirit of God move. Any moment now, it's your turn. Any moment is your turn. Be ready to receive. Be ready to receive. I want to pray for Nidia Suju. Nidia Suju. Nidia. 
Where did she go? There she is. Need Nidia. I want to pray for you right now. Place your hand right now. I want to pray for you. Place your hand. Right now, from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus' mighty name. Fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire. Fire. Fire in the name of Jesus. From the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Fire in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire right now. Fire. Fire all over her body. From the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Fire. 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 More fire. More fire. More fire. More fire. Holy Ghost, fire right now in Jesus' mighty name. More fire right now from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Every spiritual curse, every evil spirit that has been attacking this lady right now. Fire! Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus. You have been exposed. There is no hiding place. You cannot hide from the presence of God. Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost, fire in the mighty name of Jesus. From the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Fire in the name of Jesus. Nidia, can you hear me? I want you to click unmute right now. Unmute right now. Unmute the mic. Unmute the mic right now. Unmute the mic. I'm going to continue praying for you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, right now. Place your hand again. Place your hand right now. Deliverance is taking place. Right now. From the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Holy Ghost, fire! Fire in the name of Jesus! Fire right now! Holy Ghost, fire! 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 Fire right now! Holy Ghost, fire right now! In the eyes, in the hair, in the stomach, in the feet, in the hands! Fire in the name of Jesus! Fire in the name of Jesus! Every spirit hiding in this body. Every spirit hiding in this body. I call down Holy Ghost fire in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost fire right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire. Fire right now. From the top of the head to the soles of your feet. Holy Ghost fire. More fire. Right now. Your time is up. Your time is up. Holy Ghost fire. Fire! 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 Fire in that chair! Fire in the chair! Fire in the chair! Fire in your hands! Fire in your hands! Fire in your hair! Fire in your eyes! Fire in your eyes! Fire in your heart! Fire all over your body! Holy Ghost, fire all over your body! Holy Ghost, fire all over your body! You demon, there is no hiding place! You evil spirit, there is no hiding place! Fire right now! Fire right now! Fire right now. Okay, you demon, speak out. What have you done to her? Speak out. Why are you in this body? You have been exposed. You cannot hide. Look here. Look here. Look here in the name of Jesus. Who are you? You must speak. Who are you? Who are you in this body? How many are you? What have you done to her? What have you done to her? Holy Ghost, fire. More fire. More fire. Fire in your ears. Fire in your eyes. Fire in your mouth, fire in your mouth, fire in your mouth, fire in your ears, fire in your eyes, speak out. Who are you? Your spiritual what? Speak out. You cannot resist. Huh? Speak out. Uh -huh. Who are you? What have you done to her? What family. Have done? Uh -huh. What have you caused her family? What have you done to her family? What have you done to her family? Speak out. What have you done to her health? What have you done to her health? What have you done to her relationships? Speak out. Uh -huh. Destroy. You have destroyed. How many are you in? How many are you? How many are you? How many are you? How did you enter her? Through what? Through what? You entered through what? You entered through what? Fire right now. Fire, I unnoticed you came, unnoticed you go. I already know, Spirit of God have said, 
There is a spirit of snake that came through the family, through idol worship, through worshiping other gods, and you are being broken right now. It's causing spiritual stagnation. It's causing sickness in the family, and it's also <laughs> causing problems in relationships. Right now, it's being broken. Right now, from the top of the head to the social feet. Holy Ghost, fire, you spirit of snake, you generational curses. Out, 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 come out, come out, come out in the name of Jesus. Out of my body right now, out of my body right now. Right now, notice you came and notice you go. At the count of three, thank you, Lord. At the count of three, one, two, three, come out. Thank you, Lord. Out. You snake, you must go. Come out. No. Leave your no. body right now. No. Leave your body right now. How did you enter her? How did you enter you snake? Speak out. Uh -huh. Through what? My body. You enter through what? My body. Right now you're going. Out in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for freedom. Right now, thank you, Lord, for your freedom. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Lord. Right now, by the authority in the name of Jesus, I declare you free in Jesus' mighty name. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord, for freedom. Freedom right now. Thank you, Lord. Right there. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Open your eyes, Nidia. Look here. Look here. Look here. Look here. Look here. <laughs> Say this prayer with me right now. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For my freedom. For my freedom. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. And nobody else. And nobody else. Thank you, Lord, for setting me free today. Thank you, Lord, for setting me free today. Place your hand on your heart right now, really quick. Thank you, Lord, for your freedom. Fill her up right now with your spirit, Lord. Fill her up with your hope, with your joy, and with your light right now. Thank you, Lord, for your freedom right now. Thank you, Jesus. It ends with her. It ends with her. It ends with her in <laughs> Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for freedom. Right now, you are free, sister, in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Jesus you. Christ has set you free. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, People are writing in the chat right now uh, that how Jesus Christ is touching them right now. Jesus Christ is moving. <laughs> setting people free. If you're watching us on YouTube right now and you are receiving prayer, I want to pray for you right now. I want to pray for you on YouTube right now. Right now, place your hand. Place your hand on your heart right now. Place your hand on your heart on YouTube. If you're on Zoom too, join this prayer right now. Join this prayer right now. Yvette is asking, how can she receive prayer? Right now, you can receive prayer. Right now, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Place your hand on your heart. Right now, every idol, every spirit of snake, spirit of witchcraft, spirits that are not from God, every shrine, every generational curse, I command you to burn under the fire of God in Jesus' name. Burn under the fire of God in Jesus' mighty name. Fire right now in Jesus' name. Fire on to deliver us right now in Jesus' mighty name. Fire on to deliver us right now in Jesus' mighty name. Right now, people are being set free. Right now, you spiritual husband, in that woman right now watching on YouTube, you spiritual wife, in that man watching right now, you spirit of snake, you generational curse, I'm calling you by your name. There is no hiding place for the spirit of God. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Leave their body right now in Jesus' mighty name. 
Leave their body right now in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for your freedom right now. Evil spirits are coming out of people right now. Write it in the chat right now what's happening to you. Write it in the chat what's happening to you right now. We want to see. want to see what's happening right now. If you're on YouTube, want to see what's happening right now. People on Zoom, I want to pray for a group of people again. I want to pray for a group of people. I want to pray for Shay Acorn. I don't know if I said your name correctly. Shay Acorn. Hello. Okay, I'm going to pin you here. I want to pray for you in just a minute. I'm going to pray for you together with some other people. I want to pray for Salam Salam. Salam Salam. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can pin. Where did the other lady go there? I just talked. To, there is so many people. It, I just remember your last name, Acorn. I'm sorry. What was your first okay. name? Can you say something? Shay. Shay, where are you? Shay, where are you? There you are. I want to pin you. I want to pray for Natasha Wheeler. I want to pray for Natasha Wheeler. I want to pray for... We are praying right now. Stay in an attitude of God. Stay in an attitude of prayer, an attitude of faith right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for freedom. I want to pray for Dev Muktan. Dev Muktan. I want to pray for one or two more people. I want to pray for Inu. Inu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, Spirit of God. Touch people right now. Thank you. Touch people's hearts right now. Touch people's hearts right now. Hallelujah. 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 Lord Jesus, let you touch me. Let your spirit of God be known, Lord. Let your spirit of God be known, Lord. I want to pray for Annette Villarreal. Annette Villarreal. <coughs> Every single one of you, I want you to just place your hand on your heads right now. Spirit of God is moving. Gosh. Spirit of God is moving. Get ready to receive a touch right now. <laughs> right, so place your hand right now. From the top of the heads to the soles of the feet right now. Everything that is not from God in their lives. Right now, we pray for the Holy Spirit touch right now. Right now, from the top of the head to the soles of their feet, Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus' mighty name. Fire in the name of Jesus. From the top of their heads to the soles of their feet, Holy Ghost, fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire. Fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Fire in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual husband, spiritual wife, every demonic influence, generational curses, out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out. 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 Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the mighty name of Jesus. From the top of the heads to the soles of their feet. Holy Ghost, fire. Fire. Fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out right now. Out. Out of their bodies right now. Out of their bodies right now. Come out of her body. Out of her body right now. Come out. 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 Out, out in the name of Jesus. Come out of them. Come out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you're touching them. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If you are receiving prayer right now on Zoom or on YouTube, don't concentrate on what you're feeling, okay? Deliverance is not a feeling. Someone is crying, vomiting, shouting, screaming, falling, rolling, shouting, whatever. I don't care. That's not what it's about. It's about you receiving your touch from Jesus. However that looks like, whatever you feel, Jesus doesn't need your feelings to touch your case. He doesn't need your feelings to break chains. He doesn't need your feelings to do anything. So don't concentrate on that. 
That is just a sign that the Spirit of God is moving right now. That's a sign, but no matter what is happening to you, Spirit of God is heavily upon you right now, irrespective of what you're feeling. And he is taking things out right now. Uh, I want to ask Natasha Wheeler, can you unmute yourself, please? Can you unmute yourself? I want to pray for you guys. One more time, all of you, all of you, Spirit of God is moving. You know, I see that there's a, something in your body. There's a, there's a sickness. There's something. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. There's something in your body that you, you have been praying for, uh, for, for uh, God to restore. There's something. I don't know exactly what it is. There's something. Jesus Christ is doing it right now in your body. He's doing it right now in your body. What can you say about that? You know, is that something that you can... Um, uh, it's like a spirit no, of Na happiness. Natasha, uh, hold on. I'm I'm gonna pray for you in just one second. I'm talking to the lady, lady Inu. One second. Go ahead, Inu. A couple of things. Um, I've been having this itchiness and flakiness on my scalp for like since 2015. It just mm -hmm. all of a sudden happened, and I got prayed for so many times, but I never got mm -hmm. really healed. Um, yeah, so I've been asking God to restore my scalp and my hair. Have you and, ever been to the doctor? What did the doctor say? I've been to the doctor, but they couldn't figure out exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, they, did, they didn't give me like topical steroid to put on it. Mm -hmm. It haven't really cured it. It just treats it. Okay. And then um, I... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was going to say that there's one more thing. Go ahead. Yeah, well, two two more things. I've been eating a lot in dreams, and I've been praying for that, for God to just stop it. Just lately, I've been feeling uh, constipation, um, like all of a sudden. Um, mm -hmm. Then the other thing is I sweat a lot also since childhood. I just sweat. You <laughs> have sweat what since childhood? childhood? I sweat extra you know, mm -hmm. over and it's hard to touch people. Like it's really bad. Okay, Jesus Christ is gonna set you free right now. Yes. Jesus Christ is gonna set you free. Jesus Christ is touching Natasha. There's something there. There's a there's a generation of something in your life right now. It's being broken over Natasha's life. Uh, Annette as well, of course, everyone can see she's, she's having an encounter right now with the Spirit of God. Okay, one more time, guys. Place your hand right now. I want you to place it on your heart. Place it on your heart right now. Right now, everything that is not from God, I pray that you will take it away from them, Lord. Every parasitic thing, every evil spirit, every sickness and disease, right now, I command you, every demonic spirit, every spirit of rejection, every spirit of depression, every spirit of, of uh, feeling that like you are not good enough, you are not worthy, you are not uh, a good enough Christian, you are not a good enough wife, you are not a good enough fiance. Right now, I break that voice over your life. Jesus mighty name. Jesus mighty name. Jesus mighty name. If you are on YouTube, join in the prayer right now. Every spirit of rejection, every spirit of depression, that voice that is whispering lies to you. I speak to that voice. In Jesus mighty name. Come out right now. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Out right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out right now. Vomit it out right now. Vomit it out right now. Come out of their body right now. Every sickness, disease, come out! 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 Out, out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for total freedom right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for freedom. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for your freedom right now. Thank you, Lord, for your freedom right now. 
People on Zoom right now, I want to pray for a particular group of people. People who have panic attacks. Panic attacks, blackouts. Uh, uh, you, 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 you lose control. You don't know exactly what's happening. Occasionally, it's like you faint. You don't know what's going on in your life. Serious, it's really serious anxiety. You take, you take medication. I want to pray for you. I see several people right now. I want to pray for you, Rhonda. I want to pray for you. If there's any one of you people in this group that I just prayed for that is experiencing this too, I want you to stay behind. I want you to stay behind. Otherwise, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead. God bless you, people of God. Stay in the spirit of God. Stay in the presence of God right now. Okay, where are they? Where are they? If that's you, wave your hand right now. If you're having panic attacks, anxiety attacks, blackouts, you're on medication it's uncontrollable you lose control sometimes you don't know what's going on i want to pin you right now if that's you keep waving your hand keep waving your hand if that's you right now on youtube write it in the chat just write it in the chat that's me that's me right now i want to pray with you i want to pray with you natasha i knew it i knew it i knew it because you were the first person you were the first person i saw and i said let me include everyone in the meeting that needs it <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah okay i'm gonna try to pin people here it's 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 a little bit um okay let me see here i, I want to pray for natasha for that uh, wave your hand one more time wave your hand guys migle is having some kind of panic attacks and uh, migle rebecca watson i see you i see you uh, there was a lady Rhonda. where is Rhonda? I don't know why your name would be Ugly Baby. Why do you name yourself that on Zoom? Why do you name yourself Ugly Baby? Okay, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Spirit of God is moving, people of God. If you're watching the Zoom meeting, you can see people are receiving prayer. People are receiving a touch right now. Who else? Paramjet. Paramjet. I'm trying to take as many as Marius Mukas. Every single one of you. Okay, there are so many people. I, if you are here right now and you are struggling from panic attacks, anxiety attacks, you're on meditate medication, you black out, you have blackouts, you, 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 you're scared. You are scared of yourself and you are scared of what will happen. You're scared that one day you're just going to drop dead. You don't know exactly what's going on. I want you to place your hand on your head right now. Place your hand on your head. Jesus Christ wants to set you free right now. Place your hand, place your hand, place your hand, place your hand, place your hand. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every panic attack, every anxiety, every demon that is causing anxiety and, and depression, severe depression, blackouts. Right now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command your leave of spirit. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Right now, over Rebecca Watson, all I got fire in Jesus' mighty name. Fire in Jesus' mighty name. Over Migle Cherry, fire in Jesus' mighty name. Fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Over Natasha Wheeler, all I got Fire! Every demonic spirit. Out! 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every person over Ileana, over Pablo, Mario, Paramjet, Janet, Melissa, Kailani, Janine, Irene, Sandra, Aneta, Sergio, Bonchis, Love, Guajardo, Susana, <laughs> Ugly baby, Tia Miller, every single one that is having these issues right now, every demonic stronghold. Out! Come out! 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 You you spiritual attack, panic attacks, depression, anxiety. 
Come out, be broken in Jesus' mighty name. Come out and be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. If you are on YouTube right now, if you are on Facebook, Jesus Christ is setting you free right now. Panic attack, your spirit behind it. Your spirit that is causing fear, extreme fear, extreme fear, phobia, OCD, causing abnormal behavior, panic attacks, blackouts. I call you by your name. Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus' mighty name. Fire in the name of Jesus. Come out right now. Free in Jesus' mighty name. Be free in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for your freedom right now in people's lives. Freedom right now. I want to say one, one last prayer right now. As these people are receiving deliverance. You are... Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> I touched my cable there for a second. As these people are receiving freedom right now, Natasha, you are free. Jesus has set you free. People of God, Jesus Christ has broken chains in your life right now. One final prayer. I want to pray for everyone on Zoom, everyone on YouTube. The main reason we came here, we have already addressed it. But if you are struggling particularly from a spiritual husband, particularly from a spiritual wife that have caused sexual immorality or trying to cause sexual immorality, sexual lethargy, sexual confusion, mm -hmm. marital misery. I'm going to pray with you right now. I'm going to pray with you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. On YouTube, join me as well. This is the moment. This is the moment that we've been waiting for. Right now, from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet. Right now, every demonic husband, every demonic wife, right now, I call you by your name and I break your grip over the people. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Out right now, you spiritual husband, you spiritual wife. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Out right now in Jesus' mighty name. As, as people are receiving their deliverance on Zoom, people are receiving their deliverance. You are receiving your deliverance right now. Be free in Jesus' mighty name. You spiritual husband, you spiritual wife, I command you never again touch the people of God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Lord, for freedom right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are watching us on YouTube or Facebook, and you felt that something left your body. You feel something. Uh, is Holy Spirit is moving in your life right now. Go to hungrygen.com slash testimony. The same if you are on, on Zoom here right now. And Spirit of God has touched you. Go to hungrygen.com slash testimony. Share your testimony. We want to hear from you. God bless you. And I'm going to hand it over to Pastor Ilya right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Wow, what an amazing time we had in the presence of God. Once again, Pastor Rickard, thank you so much for ministering to our people, to ministering to our online members. Uh, how many of you were just extremely blessed and touched by the Lord, uh, the message and the prayer? Give some fire emoji, drop one in the chat. Uh, those of you on, on, on Zoom, wave at me, wave at me, or wave at Pastor Rickard. Let him know you appreciate the ministry uh, that he has done and the word that he brought and and that uh, the prayers that he prayed the anointing of God is real in his life and he uh, has raised them up to deliver and to bring deliverance to you and to our generation pastor Ricker thank you we appreciate you we love you much love from from uh, from the base here for hunger gen Pasco Washington looking forward to reunite physically here very very soon 
So those of you that know Pastor Rickard, uh, you know his situation uh, with, uh, with documents trying to come to Hun uh, back to Hungry Gen here. So keep him in prayer. We're praying that he will re reunite with us very soon. But in the meanwhile, his fire, as you see, is not dying out. His passion for the Lord is, getting, is, is burning ever brighter. And the anointing is increasing in his life. And we thank God for his life. Amen. Amen. We love you, Pastor Rickard. <clears throat> Those of you that, uh, again, I want to say, uh, those of you that got blessed, got touched by this ministry, by Pastor uh, Rickard's message and prayer, and specifically those that you felt like you received freedom or something was happening with you, you received the touch of God, or you got healed during this broadcast, make sure to go to hungrygen.com slash testimony and give your testimony. Jesus expected testimony from the ones he healed and he delivered. On rare occasions, he, he, he did not want them to mention his testimony, but that was for very specific reason. But in all other cases, he, he was wondering why some people that got healed, like the 10 leopards, and only one of them came to give testimony. So be sure to come uh, to go to hungergen.com slash testimony and testify to the goodness of the Lord. I know the Lord has done a lot, a lot of things, a lot of things, and some people's destiny and lives got changed today. Uh, some people's lives and destinies got changed today, and I know it's you. So take a moment, give God glory, testify to the glory of God, and um, maintain your deliverance. Hold on to what God has done, your life is about to change in Jesus' name. So, uh, with that being said, I want to give an opportunity to those people, uh, to our faithful partners and those people that are, are blessed by this ministry to give you an opportunity to sow, to give you an opportunity to tithe, to give you an opportunity to give into this ministry. And maybe uh, you have not done so. Um, you just kind of been watching, spectating, and and seeing what's happening with us. And maybe uh, the Lord is calling you and has, has uh, had you come to this point where it's time for you to join in partnership with us uh, in prayer and finances. And help us extend the kingdom of God. Help us expand the kingdom of God. As you see, you know, a, a vision of Hungry Gen is to bring thousands, to bring salvations, thousands locally and millions globally. And we take every opportunity, whether it's digital deliverance, whether it's Wednesday, uh, Wednesday live services, whether it's Friday night fires, or, or, or any opportunity to minister to the world, to the people. We don't ask for anything. We don't, uh, like other ministries, charge for deliverance prayers or, or deliverance sessions. We freely receive and freely give. But we do want to ask you to partner with us if God puts on your head, uh, puts uh, in, in your mind, in your heart, to, to be a partner and support this movement, support financially and with prayer so that we can uh, go further. Finances really help us to go further and do more things and bless more people, hold crusades, uh, go to mission trips, sponsor and bless orphanages and, and, uh, and those people that are in need and do kingdom projects. So if you've been blessed by this ministry and you say, you know what, I, I like what they're doing, I like their passion, their heart for the Lord, I want to partner with them. The Bible says, you know, when we sow in the Spirit, we're, we reap spiritual things. When we sow in the, into carnal things, uh, we, we reap carnality. So right now, let's partner with God, partner uh, with what the Holy Spirit is doing, with the move of God, uh, move of the Holy Spirit in the, through this ministry. And let's bless the Lord, honor His works in Jesus' name. Let me pray for every person uh, that will be giving. Uh, by the way, the way you can give is you can give through, through the chat on YouTube. <clears throat> you can give through hungrygen.com slash give website. Uh, those of you that use Venmo and Cash App, we are on there as well. Our handle is Hungry Gen. Hungry Generation, sorry. Also, we have Pi, uh, PayPal, and uh, on our website, you can figure out all the ways you can give. We have many different avenues. Whatever is easier for you, uh, we, we are most likely there, and you can give through those means. Uh, and I see some people already giving uh, on, um, on YouTube. Morgan has given, thank you. G. Angelo has given, thank you. Uh, so those of you that have given on YouTube, thank you very much. You can participate and give uh, on YouTube as well as online and website, Cash App, Venmo, and all of the other stuff. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for every person that's joined, God. I thank you for everything that you have done today, God. I thank you for the people, God, that you've set free today. I thank you, Lord, that generational curses and generational cycles have been put to the end today, Lord. I thank you for Pastor Rickard's life and the anointing you have in his life, Lord. We pray blessing over him, Lord. We pray, Lord, that everything will work together for good in his life and it will be uh, things will be sped up with his documents in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for every giver right now. <clears throat> 
that, I, that is given, Lord. I pray for every partner that is partnering, Lord, with the ministry. I pray that you will touch them mightily, God. I pray that you will bless every area of their life, spiritual and physical, Lord. I pray for their business, for their career, for their marital life, for their children, God. You know their need. You know, God, their heart's desire, Lord. May you locate them right now by your spirit and by your favor, Lord. We pray for open doors, open opportunities, Lord. We pray for uh, uh, contracts, God, for their businesses. We pray, God, for promotions, God, and, and jobs in their life, Lord. We pray, Lord, for those that you call to the ministry, that you will release them and provide for them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we, we thank you, Lord, for every giver, for every partner, Lord, and we thank you for every person that tuned in and watched and will re-watch that, this, this broadcast. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, Lord. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Once again, thank you to all of you, those of you on Zoom, those of you on Facebook and YouTube. If you've been blessed by this broad uh, broadcast and you have not shared it yet, go ahead and share it. Or maybe you know somebody, maybe in your family, your sister, your brother, or somebody that you know that is struggling with the issues that were addressed today. Recommend them to watch this, this broadcast, specifically this one, with Pastor Rickard on a teaching of spiritual spouses and, and how, how to deal with those things. So um, be a blessing to somebody. You know, uh, sharing a broadcast is super easy. It takes literally uh, some, you know, as little as a few seconds, five seconds, 15 seconds, but can, it can literally change somebody's destiny. It can change somebody's life. So do that right now or before you leave, share this broadcast, post it somewhere. Uh, I recommend it to somebody, text somebody, say, listen, I, I just got touched by this. Watch it. You will be touched as well. And uh, some closing announcements. Uh, remember, our uh, baptism is happening this weekend. So if you've given your life to Jesus, but you have not been water baptized, be sure to connect with us. Go to hungrygen.com slash online baptism. Hungrygen.com slash online baptism. Our mods are dropping links uh, on the chats. And fill out the form. We'll help you uh, get set up and prepared. And this weekend, as we're having a physical baptism at church, we will also con uh, conduct a, a Zoom baptism. And to make sure that you get baptized and you publicly confess Je that Jesus is Lord, and you uh, fulfill the, the, the commitment of discipleship of Jesus, which he said for us to be water baptized. So that's happening this weekend. Make sure you don't miss the opportunity. Uh, let us know that you want to be water baptized. We will assist you with that. And <clears throat> with this being said, um, LM, thank you for, uh, for giving on, on, on YouTube. And I think if we can scroll up, there's one more person that I missed, another person that has given. Um, so we want to thank every person that is giving, every person that's partnering, and every person that, that is praying with us and for us. Um, that one, Vicky, thank you for giving as well. Thank you. Um, amazing, amazing. Thank you, team from all around the world that's, that's partnering with us and being with us and praying for us. Your prayer means so much. Maybe today you can't partner financially. Consider partnering with us in prayer. Go to hungrygen.com slash intercessor. And... Um, Pray with us. Intercede for us, for our pastoral team, for the projects that are going on, for these broadcasts that are happening. We want to reach the world for Jesus as much as we can. And we want to bring deliverance and salvation to our generation. Until next time, shalom.